I'm Randall Barney. We're here at CAPSAT speaking with WTA members about satellite solutions and technologies and how they're meeting the needs of their customers today and in the future. Okay, so I think that a couple of things that we are seeing. The first is we are seeing more and more uh, services that are required that are uh, hybrid services. It, it includes uh, fiber, it includes technology on the ground, it includes satellite connectivity, but it also includes uh, the remote. Uh, the second thing is what we are seeing is development of high throughput. All of the high throughput satellites are not the same. We have taken some uh, decisions on, on the way we are going to design our own high throughput satellite, but we believe that what we are going to provide is going to allow to provide to our end customers megabits at uh, lower rates that will then uh, allow to develop new technology, new applications. So, a couple of, of uh, examples. First, an example on the maritime side. When, when again, when you look at high throughput uh, type of technology, so you have an ability to reduce the, ca the cost and the size of the equipment which is going to be installed on a vessel. You reduce it, that means that the vessel is going to spend less time at the docking, That's that means that it's going to be less expensive to install, that means it's going to use a, a smaller real estate on the, the vessel. That also means that you will be able to transmit more megabits into a vessel to do more voice, more Wi-Fi or more whatever application which is going to be used on vessels. So that's on the maritime. You could also look at uh, restoral services that we are providing. A lot of the countries we are uh, working, is, working in could have one, two or three fiber, sometimes the fiber might not be as reliable and we provide services on the satellite that will either allow to provide full-time connectivity or really help our customer to restore services when there is a problem. Uh, one announcement that we have made recently with uh, Kaimeta. Uh, this is something we really strongly believe. We, we need to look at the market not only on the space segment, we have to look at the market as how do you provide an end-to-end -end service? How do you help the ecosystem to provide uh, a service which is going to be uh, more efficient, uh, allow to, to meet the higher bandwidth requirement that we see our customers having? So, Kaimeta uh, working on uh, better equipment on the ground. We work a lot with the ecosystem partners, uh, ecosystem partners that are here, which could be iDirect, NewTek, uh, ComTech and the others, where as we deploy a new generation of satellites, we want also the equipment on the ground that are going to be able to use the best efficiency on these uh, satellites. So that's really what, what we see as uh, potential positive development. It's all going to be around how easy is it to deploy uh, a dish? How easy is it and efficient you have uh, as technology on the ground that will take advantage of the technology we put on the satellite? Uh, we really believe that if you have an ability to provide uh, services that are easily deployable, uh, you can move the satellite connectivity to new places. Having the ability to do rural telephony in remote locations, having the ability to do more vessels, having the ability to do more planes, more VSAT services. And all of that is linked to your ability to capture that market in an easy uh, way for the customer.